Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We are going to Randome here. Yes, this is correct. Last run with Maggie, we won. Whether or not... Oh, come on, you're gonna give me Maggie one more time? That's I'll do it. But it doesn't feel like random, even though that's pretty much the definition of true random. Actually, somebody on the subreddit did a sample of 300 rerolls. Zigwa Jets. Zigwa, Z, that was a very half-hearted, limp-dicked Elton John impression there. Anyway, someone on the subreddit did a sample. Uh, well, they did a, they did a, a experiment basically where they randomed 300 times. You might say 300 is not a significant sample size, but it's more than I've ever seen you do, you freaking naysayer. And uh, they found with a p-value of 0 .01, which in a statistical context basically means, uh, oh come on, yeah, that's great. If only we had it on the last run, but still, um, in a statistical context, basically means that the results of the experiment are very unlikely to be decided by chance, and instead, it, it is very likely that it shows a real effect. I'm gonna open this for a bomb, hopefully. No, we got keys back though, so that's okay. And I'll go back for that as well. Um, they found that there were three different kind of uh, kind of tier groups or priority groups for randoming. Basically, that you know, like certain characters do actually, at least based on the results of the experiment, including the p-value. Don't forget about the p-value. They uh, have a tendency to get rolled more than others. And Eden literally never gets rerolled. At least out of the 300 samples, it didn't get rerolled or it didn't get random. So there is a chance that maybe it would at some point, but. Uh, not then. Bad play for me here. But that's okay. Uh, you know what? Let's explore the rest of the floor. There's probably like two rooms left. It's all good. We might even be able to... Alright, that's easy enough. We might even be able to save ourselves some trouble. Use two bombs, get into our shop and the secret room conceivably. And maybe even buy a spirit heart that will protect us in the future. Let's see. Shall we? That is... Technically kind of useful at least. And there is a spirit heart in here, so I'll buy it right now. If we fight the haunt, well, that sucks, but whatever. Quad shot right off the bat is really good. We're out of bombs, one key. Spirit heart, fighting the haunt. Honestly, with quad shot, I think I might have a better chance of beating the haunt without getting hit than I have beating Fistula without getting hit. So maybe we'll treat this as a, a blessing in disguise. <laughs> that was a little harrowing there, but that's okay. So here's my haunt strategy for right now. When he is basically going to have 0% chance of attacking, I'm going to get right up in there and then lose my spirit heart. Now, my thinking was I wanted to be super close so that all four shots actually landed. But you know what? Now that I look at that, that was a very dumb decision. We are now minus a spirit heart. And all of our shots are still landing, so I feel like a real dummy. That's all right, though. We're back to full HP. Just don't take damage on the next floor. We'll still get a deal with the devil. And we can't possibly be fighting the haunt. It's a shame because that went so well at the start of the fight and then I just completely blew it. That was not the haunt's fault. Gotta take some personal responsibility. That was not the game's fault. That was me playing badly. Shit happens. Still, quad shot HP on the first floor is a relatively good first floor, all things considered. Quad shot, um, you'd, you'd probably classify it amongst the best items in the game. I think I underrated a little bit because of the fact that I it existed in vanilla, so you're like, yeah, you know, quad shot's good, that's old news. Mr. Mega is not immediately useful for us here, but if we find a uh, tinted rock on this floor, it might be the item that ends up having the most meaningful impact on this entire run. What I mean by that is it gave us bombs when we had none, although I guess we just got bombs immediately after anyway. Um, and if we find a, a tinted rock that protects us on a deal with the devil, the deal with the devil maybe gives us brimstone, mom's knife, death's touch, something like that. That would be enabled as a result of those bombs, but I guess now I'm talking out of my ass because we, we had bombs on the ground to begin with. It's all good though. It will make it so that if I find the boss fight like right off the bat here, maybe we end up fighting, I don't know, a widow. If we hit it with one Mr. Mega Bomb, that might be enough to kill it and just, you know, simplify our situation greatly. Similarly, we could probably just throw a bomb down there and sort this out quickly, but we're gonna fight the boss right now And it's a little bit of a harrowing, harrowing situation because if I get hit we got problems, but uh, let's uh, not get hit then uh, It's pin Close That's the only bomb I'm gonna use During this pin fight because I really think that it should be fairly easy for me to Get through this fight without getting hit 
just with my tears. And it's not just from, like, I want to save a bomb. Like, it's not just coming from that place. It's coming from the place of... Excuse me? <laughs> it's coming from the place of I don't want to hit myself with a bomb, but we don't need to really finish that sentence anymore because I just got hit against Pin and as such have to turn in my... Uh, my uh, beat the game is the lost card, which is unfortunate because I'm quite proud of that. Um, well, let's make the best of a bad situation. Find our secret room, maybe. There it is. And we got Black Lotus out of that. Look, I'm still happy that we got Black Lotus. It's a great item. I do wish that I'd tried to find the secret room before fighting the boss, though, in which case I would have almost, well, probably 100% gotten a deal with the devil. Because I really doubt I'm taking four hits on that, uh, on that pin fight. Five hits, actually, on that pin fight was what it would have required. So, it's a little bit disappointing, but I'm still, you know, what happened happened, and we still got Black Lotus. So that's, uh, it's, it's a positive, although it could have been better. I'm exploring the rest of the floor basically because, you know, why not? We have time, even if we do want to go to Boss Rush. We've been going pretty quickly, and I figured uh, it's worth a shot. So here's my new strategy for these rooms. Put the bomb down, like, here. I wasn't actually necessarily trying to shoot it in, but it did end up working that way. Uh, and we got four bombs for a bomb and a key, which is a pretty good trade. We could have gotten that fifth bomb. Who cares? Not a huge deal, all things considered. I like Quan Shot because it's also a little bit better at extinguishing fires, I think. So it makes it a little bit less tedious. Just a little bit, but indeed a little bit less tedious. Uh, I guess we're just going to move on here. Again, the time is not that big of a deal. I do feel like we missed out on a deal with the devil, but hey, this means that we're in a position to basically guaranteed get one next floor, excuse me. Yeah, basically get one for sure next floor, and maybe that means that we we skipped a shitty deal with the devil to get a good one. It's still suboptimal, but there is a, a chance that the suboptimalness will actually work out in our favor. As ridiculous as that sounds, it's the Isaac sometimes. Was kind of hoping for some money here, so this works out. Uh, I, I would... Excuse me? I would like at some point to actually be able to do something on our shop. Okay, first off, I need to have a little bit of a pep talk here because I am taking an extraordinary amount of damage in situations where I shouldn't. And I think it's the result of, of having such powerful runs. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you're not my gastroenterologist. I, I think it's the result of, of having extremely powerful runs recently thanks to KFC's Big Crunch combo. We had that Brimstone Spoonbender run. Borderline impossible to take damage unless in, you were in a freakish situation. We had the Dr. Fetus run. Most of the damage I took on that run was the result of me hitting myself with a bomb. Enemies died in one hit, so I could afford to get up in their face uh, a little bit more. On this run, I'm powerful, and that's the thing that burns me up. But I'm uh, still letting myself get hit. Basically just through sloppy play, so... You know, better to acknowledge that right now. Take personal responsibility. Try to make uh, some changes in my play that will hopefully improve my chances in the future. One of you, I was going to say, you got to be dead soon. Um, and, and then make the necessary adjustments, right? So if we could, we, we really, above all else, just want to get a deal with the devil on this floor. Chemical peel is a good item. Good-ish, anyway. Secret room contains a slot machine, which will just be exploded. Uh, that wasn't really what I was looking for. So we really, really want to find our shop. Just wanted to make sure that guy wasn't going to come into my path here. Yeah, we really, really want to find our shop or a Tinted Rock before we get hit. Maybe I can kill two at once here. Yeah, and okay, that should simplify it, and I will totally spend five cents on a spirit heart for some peace of mind. Admittedly, Pandora's box is kind of excellent. Caves 1 Pandora's box, I believe, gives us a free boss room item. How many times are we going to have to do that? Too many times, I think. But I might come back for it, especially if I get like enough money that I only have to blow it up like a couple of times. I guess it's just laziness, really, because I've I so rarely actually end up using the bank, the donation machine, quote unquote. Wow, that was very good luck. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Um, but I so rarely end up using it that 
It's not like I'm sacrificing future generation success by, by taking eight cents out of it. And it's not like I have a huge shortage of bombs, so we really shouldn't be that worried about it. I'll go and blow it up before the end of the floor, I guess. So, we very much are in a good position here for uh, our deal with the devil needs. And the husk is going to make that even easier. Mr. Mega sorted that shit out right away. We get a little Steven, which is not that good, but it's okay. And uh, I think, especially given our HP, we can probably afford to take Guppy's Hairball for the Guppy Chance and Ceremonial Robes for the obvious. 48 hour energy, not useful. Pretty fly, very nice. Okay. Pretty good, all things considered. Let's come back here and get Pandora's box. Admittedly, I'm running off a hunch here. That on the Caves Part 1, it gives you one boss item. And we'll use it just so we can stick with Yum Heart. Like, there's something to be said for taking it with us to the Womb Part 1, but I think this is the last floor where it's actually, like, super useful until the Womb. Yeah, and we got Cat of Nine Tails out of it, which is pretty solid. We even have one cent left over. I, I say we go uh, do a little bit more exploration as well. So that's a that's a good, somewhat ambitious use of, of that bank back there. I think that was a that was a smart idea. We've accidentally found both secret rooms, which is excellent. These guys are not going to be in a good place, and all of a sudden we find ourselves dealing quite a lot of damage as a result of Cat of Nine Tails, Chemical Peel, and uh, Ceremonial Robes. Not to mention Quad Shot, of course. But we've had that for a while. So this run's starting to shape up pretty nicely, I think. Yeah, I, I was just trying to find something to complain about, but our HP is going to be solid, more than solid. It's going to be at five. Mr. Boom, sorry, Mr. Mega is putting us in a position where, you know, when we don't like a boss, we can make sure that our opinion is uh, pretty well known right off the bat. I am going to... Can I get three of these mushrooms? Yes. And then this one, I think the best we're going to do is two. But I'll try it just because we know there's a pretty fly pill. And it ended up not working out for us, but hey, we learned something. We traded two bombs for some knowledge about a pill. That's something. It's not nothing, at least. Of course, we could blow it up and try to get the mushroom items, but the odds of it happening are low, so I prefer to save our bombs for other purposes, even if it is offensive purposes, but whatever. doesn't really matter for now. All right, Catacombs 2 with four cents is actually very stupid of me because it means that we will not have a chance at... Uh, that was very dumb as well. As it was happening, I was like, man, I really hope one of those doesn't explode in my face. Um, not a good start. That... I should have just rolled with hematomesis and used that to get into the boss rush room. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. We're going to move into the next room. Black Candle for free is awesome. Means no more curses and also... I uh, broke even on entering that room because we picked up a black card and we lost a black card. That is it, it's just good luck, basically. On the last floor, I really, really should have... Uh, even if I had to bomb the donation machine to get us to five cents, it would have been awesome to get uh, an arcade on this floor. So that's that's the kind of thing I have to consider more in the future is just trying to, you know, make sure... Like, five cents for an even-numbered floor, it's not the be-all, end-all, but it's important if you can make it happen. Because, you know, it, it's easy to say that, oh, that's not that important. However, I can hear some saws starting up on the roof again. It's like a horror movie. Uh, however, if we had five cents, could have spawned an arcade. If we spawned an arcade, it would have made it much easier for us to get to our, uh, you know, boss trap room here. And who knows? Maybe there's another guppy item in there. It could make a big difference in the whole scheme of things. Then again, we did have a hematomesis pill, so I should have been able to just go to our boss trap room anyway. But that's me being an idiot. Okay. Oh my god, we got Magic Mushroom for free. That does not happen all that often. So whenever it does, you got to take a step back and say, Thank you, uh, RN Jesus. And he, thank you uh, for, for putting it in a position that I was likely to blow up anyway. It wasn't just in a random mushroom. It was in that cluster of five, which I always consider to be worth a bomb. Basically for this express purpose. Plus we got another pretty fly pill. So everything's shaping up pretty nicely here from a luck standpoint. Like, our, our actual luck stat is not that good, but our, uh... I, I thought, by the way, that was a pretty obvious trade. Liberty Cap for Judas's Tongue. Assuming we're going to get more deals with the Devil throughout the game. It's actually... We basically just picked up, like, 3 HP. If I take 3 more deals. Well, 3 more deals that would have cost 2. So that's unlikely. I guess Judas's Tongue is a little bit worse now that most deals only cost 1 heart. Because... It, it's not like it makes those free... 
Still, though, we use Liberty Cap all the time. Let's mess around with Judas' tongue a little bit. Um, yeah, this run is is shaping up very nicely right now. I can't complain at all. And you know what the best part is? We can't possibly have like a Curse of the Blind Dr. Fetus pickup. I know. That's been the defining characteristic of the recent runs, but no, that's uh, very, very unlikely to happen here unless somehow I D4 my whole run, lose Black Candle as a result, and then get it. But then we could just D4 again. Third pretty fly. So we got a whole halo of flies just from pills without having the PhD. That's unlikely. I'm an extremely happy camper right now. Now, Dark One is just screwed. No deal with the devil, but we got some pills. Some of these we know. Paralysis, pretty fly. Full health. Tears down. Tears down, you know, sucks pretty hard. Everything else, not so bad. I am not at all worried about boss rush right now. So I figure, why don't we just do a little bit more exploration? Do I want to go to our shop? Yes, because I am close enough that it would only take me a couple of explosions to blow up, uh, or to get to the 15th cent threshold. So, admit it. Don't talk about it. Admittedly, I'm making pretty liberal use of uh, this bank here. I don't think it's a terrible idea. We don't need five cents now. Because the next floor is not uh, an even numbered floor. So we'll just go and we'll pick up uh, we'll pick up our Liberty Cap. Yeah, we don't need anything else here. We'll go pick up Liberty Cap and then we'll be on our way, I guess. Not that it's a super necessary item, but or trinket, I should say. But it's better to have it than not have it. Magic Mushroom, obviously the biggest pickup here. You never know about Mom's Purse. It could end up being able to keep us with a Curved Horn or with a Cancer Trinket or maybe even both. So that could be meaningful. We know, yeah, we, we must know those pills. We got a whole suite of Halo of Flies. Pretty excellent. And we're on Necropolis 1, so we're making pretty good progress. This is a floor um, where I'm definitely going to have to do my best to not get hit because the deal with the Devil precedent here is extremely important. For a couple of reasons. One, it could validate actually taking Judas's tongue. Two, you know, just picking up one more good item would probably go a long way towards helping out. Three, pride. Four, just want to be with you, I think is that. I'm, I'm trying to do a little Brian McKnight reference or something. Um, one, you're like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with you. Three, girl, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me. Four, repeat steps one through three. I was way off. So we'll double our bombs. We have an Emperor card, uh, which I will save. And we got Ghost Baby for free. I don't really talk about getting Ghost Baby for free. I only mention it in hushed tones. I don't consider Ghost Baby to be that good. If we got Brother Bobby for free, I would feel exactly the same way. I'd be like, ah, Brother Bobby. It is what it is, right? Bloody Penny is actually awesome. What is this card? Magician. Not very good. So we'll take the Emperor card just on the off chance that Boss Rush ends up being viable, but I'm not going to stress out over it. So I'm going to get rid of Liberty Cap to take Bloody Penny. Even though Liberty Cap tried its best to, to save itself by giving me the compass effect at the last possible minute. Um, very poor play on my part. I should not have taken damage there. But I know where the boss room is because of the Liberty Cap uh, desperation move. So I'm going to bum rush that boss fight in the hopes of being able to get a deal with the devil right off the bat. Mask of Infamy shouldn't be too bad. Quad Shot, you know, it has the added benefit of kind of, oh, Jesus. I knew it was going to happen at some point. Hey, what's the world coming to if a man can't saw his pipes on a freaking rooftop in the public? I thought this was Canada. Excuse me. There we go. We did not get a deal with the devil. That is a bit of a shock to me, mister. We're going to do a little bit more exploration because, uh, you know, I haven't been seen our item room or our shop or our secret room gotten any money over the course of this run. This was not a very smart move on my part. We're, you know, we don't need Judas's tongue right now. We'll come back for it. These guys don't die in one hit. Again, if you haven't been watching recent episodes, we've been mostly free of the rooftop noise that has plagued Kate and I in the mornings. This is a bit of an exception, but, you know, it is, we're getting a little late in the afternoon here, so their day is probably ending soon. They've been here since, uh, you know, 2.30 a.m. four days ago, so uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. That was great damage on my part there. I, uh... Very pleased with that. I'm hoping that uh, Spirit Heart would be there. That's okay. It wasn't. 
Now, I, you know, I'm kind of... I'm on the clock again, because I gotta get another spirit heart. If we're gonna relatively guarantee ourselves a chance at a deal with the devil next time. I can't even get an... Oh, now I can. We do not have any guppy items. Man, that is a bad boss trap, or mob trap room. Almost tempting me, quite honestly, to just Emperor card out, but I'm not gonna do it. Even though we have pretty much a 0% chance of boss rush, the Emperor card is substantially better if we just end up using it on the womb or something along those lines. I think I'm gonna start using quad shot almost like... Wow, I got super lucky Pretty Fly saved me there. Um, not that it would have been that terrible, I guess, considering our situation right now, but... Um, I should start using it a little bit more like Brimstone, trying to land all the shots at once as soon as I enter a room. Book of Secrets or Yum Heart? Man, I, I think Book of Secrets is one of the worst books in the game. It's debatable whether I would rather have this than... Uh, or it's debatable... Let me put it this way. It's not debatable. I would rather have Book of Secrets than Anarchist Cookbook. I would rather have Book of Secrets than... Telepathy for Dummies? I would probably rather have it than How to Jump, but that's not necessarily a reflection of How to Jump being bad. More me being bad with How to Jump. Um, but I might rather have an item like the Necronomicon instead of Book of Secrets, to be honest with you. That might be a personal preference thing, but I am, uh, I have not found myself super impressed with Book of Secrets. Alright, this is actually great. One way or the other, Greed's gonna give us something we need. HP is better as well. 11 cents is actually kind of like the magical, come on. 11 cents is kind of the magic number for us right now. If you don't you pay no attention to the sounds of the buzzsaw on the roof, why is 11 cents the magic number? We can buy a, uh, what is this, the world? Mm, doesn't do too much for us now. Thanks to Book of Secrets, somewhat uh, ironically enough. But um, enough money to buy a spirit heart while also being able to have 5 cents plus left over so that we can actually spawn an arcade, and blood banks are huge for us because of Bloody Penny and Yum Heart to a lesser extent. And actually, now we can buy an item. Oh, now we can absolutely buy an item and still be in exactly the same situation because we picked up over 10 cents there. And we were already at 11, so that's pretty okay. That'll help out the slightest bit as well. And we know there can't be greed in here, so what's better, 9 volt or battery? Used to be a little bit more of a toss up, maybe, but. I think we definitely say 9 volt now. Unfortunately, if I buy this spirit heart, I will be under the amount of money necessary. I've taken a lot of money from my my own coffers this time. Uh, so now we'll buy this. And that'll be the end of this floor. And yeah, there's the, the last tick for boss rush. So we can stop even humoring ourselves when it comes to talking about it. A decent floor, all things considered. The fact that we didn't get a deal with the devil is very surprising for me. But that just means that we're... I guess even more likely to get one on the next floor. And we don't need one to succeed, although I would very much like one. Hermit. I mean, there's probably something to be said for the Hermit. That's more what along the lines of what I was looking for. And the Sun card or the Emperor card? The... I, I still think that was worth those bombs, by the way. This is the setup we want here. Um, but uh, I, I do think the Sun card is better. Emperor card's great, but I think this is better. And we'll try to find maybe an Eternal Heart over here. Oh, we'll try to find our second secret room, and if it is an Eternal Heart, even better. Oh, well. Okay, a long floor, but one where we uh, accomplished some stuff that we wanted to accomplish. This is... Oh, my God. You'll have to excuse me. I had the cafeteria chili for lunch. Excuse me. I don't even need to fight that guy. I'm not sure why I'm wasting my time. So how are you guys? Do pretty good, huh? You guys doing good? My biggest fear is that you guys can't actually hear this noise right now. So you find yourselves thinking, what is Northern Lion talking about? This is just ridiculous. What are you what are you doing up there? How long does it take you to do what you're doing? Is that you just your job right now is to step up there and make as much noise as possible? I I think they can hear me. I can you hear me, motherfuckers? I can hear you! Surely this cannot go on forever. Oh, I'll wait. I'll be- you think you can get me out of this place? I don't think so, mister. I got nowhere else to go! 
Well, we'll kill these guys. Oh my god. It actually ended. For a, for a minute, I actually... I'm like, I'm... I... Are you... Can we... What I was gonna say is that I'm a fucking professional. I'll shout over top of this for the rest of the video. I don't care. It's a very pleasant sound as far as I'm concerned. I can still hear that diesel fucking engine idling. Don't even start that shit up. Gah! Well, okay. I'm gonna choose to <laughs> pretend that it's not even happening. Because that's the kind of professional I am. If we get this hematomesis pill into a second secret room or an arcade with a blood bank, that could be very useful for us. Well, at least... Oh, yeah, this is still good. This is still good. You guys, I'm so sorry. My only hope... <laughs> that, oh, oh, I thought I had a second to speak there. This is what we've been waking up to for like two fucking days. Is there a wall master here? Oh my god, I get a chance to talk. Okay, let's find an arcade, get this hematomesis pill in here, then go to the boss trap room. It's the best thing that we can possibly do. I gotta get this message out. I'm not sure how much time I have left, dear. Yo, dog, we live in a pretty small apartment building. I'm not trying to say that roofing is easy. Especially on, you know, like a residential building like this. But come on, how long does it take? Really? Really? Alright, so I'm gonna donate a lot of money. I mean, I don't think this will compensate for the amount that we lost there. It, do you, it sounds like Nancy Sinatra's upstairs. Did you hear those, like, guitar twangs? You keep saying you got something for me. They're actually, I think they were drumming along for us. Here we go again! Alright. My only hope, and I mean this sincerely, is that at least some people out there find this funny. Oh man, there's no arcade. Well, that was a, it was a chance to happen. Let's go back and get our sun card. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna stop the video because I'm having fun on this run, and if nothing else, this will certainly be a wild one. It'll be a remarkable episode, that's for sure. No, I'll wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know, there's not really much to rap over there. It's not a beatbox. It's more of a, uh... More of like a Lou Reed metal machine music type thing. Holy shit. We gotta get, like, Mom's knife on the next floor so we can speed run this shit, because I... Don't give me your electric industrial flatulence right now, okay? I promise you this is not some weird kind of performance art, this is just the way that we've had to live our lives. Yeah, I can do it too, motherfucker. Yeah, that's true. I think I've made it ashamed of itself. I, you know what's actually great about this, and I mean, I'm... You know what's actually great about this, is that I'm pretty sure the people on the roof can hear me. Not just because I can hear them but because I'm shouting. The people outside of the, the apartment, like anyone's making like deliveries to this floor right now, are probably like, what the f- there's like a crazy man in there shouting at the roofers. And this is, you know, this is the reality of working at home. You don't know it, man, it's like some unseen world shit. You know, if you like uh, work at an office or something like that, you have no idea the world that happens when you're at work, you know? There's all sorts of annoying shit. Your neighbors trying to spy on other neighbors. Postal delivery people are like totally actually working during that time. It's like, it's totally wild. This is, you know, when you go to work, people who work on your house, they're right here. And also your retiree neighbors who mow their lawn twice a day because it's, you know, sadly all they have because their shit ass sons and daughters never give them a fucking phone call. Anyway. This is our, this is a good situation for us. No more wall masters? No, oh, one more wall master. This is a good situation for us. We found our boss room right off the bat. Excuse me. Uh, we found our boss room right off the bat. It's Teratoma. He is what he is. In this case, he is pretty easy. 
And uh, we're going to be hoping to pick up some half-decent deal with the devil action here. Oh, God. It's like I just woke up from, like, a fucking coma or something. We didn't get a deal with the devil. We got Jesus juice, though. It's like I seriously just woke up from, like, a coma. I'm like, when did I pick up Headless Baby? Why did I pick up Headless Baby? I usually do pick up Headless Baby anyway. But it overrode my focus. Right? Like, I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of you, whenever I, like... Complain on Twitter. You go, oh, that's just Northern Lion being Northern Lion. Wow, small rock. I didn't even see a tinted rock there. You go, oh, that's just Northern Lion being Northern Lion. He's just complaining. He likes to complain passive aggressively. That might not necessarily be false, by the way. Um, but also, there's a little bit of the truth in every joke, you know? This, this is the truth of my existence right now. Imagine this. But... Like, not, it, it doesn't happen, like, ten minutes a day. It happens, like, intermittently throughout the day, starting at about 9 a.m. and lasting through 5. This is just, and you know, it's, it's not just that I enjoy peace and quiet. It's kind of that, you know, I, uh, this is the way that I pay my taxes to the government. This is a public works project. I'm not trying to pull the, I'm helping to pay your salary card, I'm just saying. You know, by doing this roof construction, you actually are hurting ever so insignificantly the economic might of our glorious nation. So if you could just fuck off forever, the roof wasn't even leaky. I don't get it. I find it hard to believe that these people have been contracted on a job simply to annoy me. But at the same time, I'm starting to feel like due to this relentless drilling that that might be the Occam's razor, a.k.a. the most likely possible outcome at this point and now they're just starting the saw to interrupt me what are they doing up there no don't give me that low if there is this kind of sound there better be a fucking earthquake there better be a, a monster there better be a fucking kaiju slinking out of the pacific ocean off the coast of vancouver right now that's all i'm saying i want an electromagnetic pulse to be going off so I can live in fear, as opposed to merely frustration. I'm gonna need this to stop. Right away. I, you know, just enjoy it for a little while. This is the sound it makes when your hard drive crashes, by the way. Speaking of which, I can actually feel the vibrations through my desk. Which I have to imagine is probably not great for the fact that, you know, there's a lot of electrical equipment in here. How long does it put some elbow grease into it, Junior? Take you a hundred years to saw through a fucking PVC pipe? You want me to come up there and help out? You're gonna have to teach me how to use the tools, but, you know, I've got a can-do attitude. Yeah, you can, maybe you can do your mother and fuck off from right here. Okay, we'll kill this guy with Headless Baby. Oh, at this point... Just the peace and quiet of the whole... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well. I hope I hope that it's not as loud for you as it is for me. I've been looking at the audio levels, and I might just be shouting. And you might not... I mean, I'm sure you're able to hear it. But you might not be able to hear it like, uh, like crazy, you know? I can, though. And it is. When I talk in my normal volume... It might be overpowering. When I shout, that's probably just annoying for everybody. Well, this is going to make one hell of a video. I'm sure the community reaction to this one is going to be uh, stellar. Understandably so, you know. I pride myself on my high audio quality. When there's not a fucking industrial-grade pneumatic drill in the background, that is, of course. Is this actual peace and fucking quiet right here? Am I losing my mind? It can't last forever. Let's not even enjoy it. Let's just recognize that, you know, everything in this life is temporary, including solitude, and, and we'll move along. We actually have a decent run going here. We're going to the chest. I didn't even mention it when it happened recently. Uh, when I we took the Polaroid, I should say, because I was uh, perturbed. I should go back for that half heart. But the chest is really... I mean, like, we have a good chance of winning, but the chest is what gives us the best chance of winning because of the items. It is not a situation where I'm like, hey, let's go to the chest for funny synergies. This is a situation where I'm like, let's go to the chest. Because if we play our cards right on the chest, there's a better chance that we'll actually be able to 
you know, maybe survive? Complete the run? I don't think it's out of the question. A big part of a, a win that I, uh, on the chest at least, that I don't really talk about is just lucky rune generation. It does matter a lot on the chest. If we end up fighting, you know, like a lot of double cages or something like that, eh, that's pretty good. Free ability to fly. If we end up fighting a lot of double cages or something like that, you know, a lot of double adversary rooms, life's gonna suck, man. But if we end up fighting like a lot of those rooms that are just, just spiders, a lot of triple widow rooms, like those ones, should be relatively easy and, and give us a much better chance of success. We are getting a little low on keys. But that's okay. Honestly, I, I gotta say, I kinda miss the pneumatic drill. It's like when you're used to sleeping with a little bit of noise, like maybe you sleep with the radio on or something like that, and then you're, uh, you're sleeping in a situation where you can't have the radio on. The lack of a forced distraction actually kind of, it, it hinders you a little bit. That's I feel hindered right now. I feel like I got the lips of a fucking angel that can make me weep right now. Oh, I I can hear it. Yeah, vroom, vroom, get it warmed up, buddy. It's starting to feel like a warm fucking summer day. It's a pitcher of lemonade on a Kentucky porch. Bring it on, bitch. I'm ready. I will be the, the bell of your decibels. That doesn't really make any sense, but basically... Just please leave. Go repair someone else's roof. We're, we're just renting, man. I don't care if there's mold damage here. We'll be gone in a couple months. Give that for the next... The next people who live in this apartment, they're probably gonna be like, you know, accountants or something like that. That means they're gonna be away from home at 2 p.m. on a fucking Wednesday. That'll be fine. Just come back then. Come back in May. Don't, it does sound like there's like a Toy Story-esque abstraction of a monster on top of our roof right now. Alright, down to the next floor. This nightmare house is almost over, thankfully. And we did do fairly well on that floor. I don't think you can lie about that. We still have our sun card. Probably going to be an integral part of our success. Uh, so none of these are particularly good. Mystery Sack could give us some spirit arts and save us. Little Chubby's okay. Tough love. I don't know what our luck stat is, but I mean, it's better to have tough love than not have tough love. I don't really care who I kill last here. Actually, it's probably best to kill greed last, he says, as he sh fills greed with fucking bullets. <laughs> um, but yeah, it probably is best to... Oh, you know what? We can use Mr. Boom once per room. That actually might make it a viable outcome here. We can always come back for Yum Heart if we get hit. Um, we didn't get anything that basically wins the game for us, but we got some stuff that helps. The slightest bit. So, Eternal Heart, if you'll ignore uh, Cthulhu on the roof right now, my favorite Broadway musical, um, if we uh, take that Eternal Heart just before the boss fight, it will give us an extra hit of survivability. I'm not even going to use Mr. Boom here. Had more of a potential to backfire than anything else. Let's try throwing it down here, though. That eh, did a little damage, I think. The, what, that actually is like a monster on our roof. Now, I'm not sure. I think that might have been like the bus brakes outside. You know, like the air brakes that buses. Eat. Anyway. Didn't really make any sense. That's alright, too, though. We're gonna be fine. This run's gonna end. It's gonna be, hopefully, the most noisy and absurd run of, of Rebirth we've ever had. I hope you've enjoyed it. I did my part, I think, to, to try to make it as ridiculous as possible without. I think it was either like shout over top of it. Or abandon the episode partway through. And I, I, I prefer to just shout over top of it. Not just because I already put in like the first half hour of the episode. And I don't want to, you know, have to scrap it. But I think it turned out somewhat entertaining anyway. Not to pull back the veil of the Wizard of Oz type shit here. Anyway. We're done. For the most part. All we gotta do is make it to the boss. If we can make it to the boss with... I mean, there's not much of a point to shooting this stuff. But if we can make it to the boss with the sun card and as much HP as possible, I think we got a pretty good shot. We might not even need the sun card, but it would be helpful to have it. Even if we just get one extra hit, or ability to get hit out of it. Because it ain't about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. I don't know why my Sylvester Sl Stallone impression gets worse over time. It's like, it ain't about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep and It still gets worse. What happened? People were like, the first time I did it, people were like, man, your, Sylve your, your Sylvester Stallone impression is actually not that bad. And I was like, you know what? I appreciate that. Thank you. And now it's just god-awful. 
I think it's because I've started trying harder. And the lesson is never try, I guess. Anyway, we're going to win here. It's not really that much of a surprise. I'm kind of surprised by how kind the chest has been to us, though. That was a very nice dodge there as well. Not to toot my own horn unnecessarily, but for real, we did very well on the chest. Didn't end up having to use the sun card at all. We didn't even get hit on the boss fight. As always, thanks for watching. I apologize for the noise sincerely, and uh, hopefully that'll be done by the end of today. We'll see. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.